Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Autumn. And Zang. And our friends at Mattel sent us a huge box of Enchantimals dolls, which I was super surprised by. I was not expecting it. Um, and I'm very grateful, so thank you so much, Enchantimals, for sending me this box of goodies. Um, it has a couple different dolls in it. We will show you guys everything that's inside. It's a cute little goodie box, and as you can see, it came in this big, like, bluish-purple cardboard box with some lovely Enchantimals art across the front with several of the characters. Um, if you want to learn more about what Enchantimals are, um, you know, they're the latest brand by Mattel. I will put links in the description for their official website and for our previous review of the Lorna Lamb and Breed Bunny characters. Um, so we will go ahead and unbox this and show you guys all the fun stuff. <gasps> Alright, let's open this up. It's so cute. It's like a little display. It's like a stage almost. Yeah, and you lift it up. You open the other one. Oh, so cute. There's a bunch of grass down here, and there's what looks like a. Yeah, it is a poster. I think yeah. you slide it to the left. <laughs> Wait, are you supposed to like. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Struggles of doing basic things. Aww. Oh, that's adorable. That is super uh, cute. Alright, over. Yes. Cute. Super cute. I love it. Caring is our everything. Oh, thank you, Enchantimals. That's adorable. That artwork, I don't think I've seen before on the packaging or anything, too. That's very cute. All right, so let's go ahead and start opening some of the fun stuff in here. Oh, I came with little description cards of the characters. Very cute. Yeah, oh, yeah. one for each character that we that got. gave us. Oh, and they gave me the turtle girl. That's so uh, cute. Yeah, she's one of the newer ones. Sure. Yeah. The only time I've seen her is like on Amazon. Yeah. Cute. Ooh, I just want to film with this. <laughs> oh. Sorry. I got a backdrop now. Can you take that part out? The bottom part? And then it's oh. just oh, so pretty. Oh. Uh, here's for the turtle one. Oh, they gave me a backdrop. I love it. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. All right, so starting off, we have Felicity Fox, Patter Peacock, and Sage Skunk. Uh, and Sage Skunk was one of the ones I was considering getting for a while, so I'm super excited she was included. Um, the packaging for Enchantimals um, is uniform. It's the same across the board. There's, you know, kind of a dreamy watercolor background that looks very woodsy with Enchantimals art across the bottom, which is different character to character. So what's kind of interesting about the back of the boxes is um, they are not exactly the same for this batch because I think it's like commingled different versions of the dolls. Um, I think the one on the left is we were talking about it might be like the European or the, the prototype version. Um, the one on the right is the version of the back packaging that you'll more commonly see in the US. Um, it has a little blurb about the character with some artwork. I really like the Enchantables art, so definitely appreciate that. Um, not too much to talk about in terms of packaging, so we're gonna crack these girls open and give you guys a closer look. All right, first up we have Sage Skunk, who is appropriately skunky from head to toe. <laughs> yeah, so she does have um, the half-shaved hairdo, although the side of her head, unlike Venus McFlytrap, is not flocked. Um, it's just a colored plastic. And she has mostly white with streaks of black hair. You know, black and white, of course, is her skunky theme. And she has little black plastic black ears with a painted pink flower on her left ear. She's very Pepe Le Pew. She is. I love it. <laughs> yes, and she has a cute little skunky face with light makeup, some maroon lips, and purple skin, which I think is a nice yeah, The lavender skin tone is, yeah. yeah. She's very calming. <laughs> yes, definitely. She has this uh, black um, graphic top with the symmetrical uh, flower design. It almost looks like it's supposed to look like a card of some sort. Like it reminds me of a playing card. Mm -hmm. 
And then over the top she has a plastic piece, which is supposed to be, I think, a kind of like black shawl. The texture is coming off kind of weird to me, I don't know what they were exactly going for, but it has more flowers on it, and that's appropriate. Uh -huh. She's got flowers all over. I love her skirt, like this printed bright elastic skirt with just a bunch of red and pink flowers on it. Yes, and as we've discussed, I mean, we're, we're not sure why you'd want to, but the skirts on Enchantimals are removable, so you can swap and interchange them if you want to. Moving on to her shoes, she is wearing some cute, simple little boots with they're kind of UGG looking. They are. <laughs> yeah, they look like UGGs, you know. Yeah, they're supposed to have like, um, fluffies, like, the inside of it. It's yeah. supposed to be on the top, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's all yes. plastic, so it comes off kind of strange. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Simple shoes, but they work. Yeah. Caper. So this is Sage's Pet Skunk Caper. Um, we said in our previous video, I think this is really one of the best things about Enchantimals are their little pet friends. Uh, they're really adorable. I love the little art style of their faces, of the face paint, and you know, the texture of the faux fur and the tails they come with. So yeah, her pet is super cute, and each girl gets a different pet. Alright, next up we have Felicity Fox, who is of course fox themed. Um, there's something very fiery looking <laughs> about her to me, too. In person it just looks like... Uh, kind of like a masquerade mask made it out of fire. Yes. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, her hair is a really interesting color too. It's almost like a purplish, or like an auburn. It's kind of auburn a little bit, yeah. It has some cute classic little fox ears with a yellow daisy on the left. Um, her hair is tied into pigtails, and as with, you know, most enchantimals, her top is plastic. It's a very simple top. Um, I like the texture they went for with the ruffles though, and yeah. her collar. Yeah, it has cute little ruffled sleeves. It's mostly orange with a white button-down shirt through the center. And she is wearing a little skirt. It's like leopard print pink and orange with white daisies overlay. It's very, yeah. got a very retro feel to it. <laughs> school and she of course has a fluffy little fox tail that is actually textured with faux fur and you know she's wearing shoes they're very basic <laughs> like yeah. pink flats with nubbins on the end I, I can't yeah. even see like what the theme is they just look yeah. like bows I guess and ah oh, the pet she comes with is like the best one Flick fox. this is Flick Precious. fox Maybe one of my favorite Enchantimals pets of all out of all. I love how he waves at you. Yeah, his little paw is super cute. Love him. Now we've got Patter Peacock, who looks very royal. She is themed after, of course, a peacock, and she has a lavender hair color that's tied up into kind of like a messy giant bun. She is wearing a golden tiara. It's very fancy, it has some little peacock themed detailing It's across. got some plumage design. Mm -hmm. um, she has a peacock tail design on her forehead. Um, it's somewhat dramatic makeup by Enchantable standards because she has the little um, dramatic, you know, like painted lower eyelash design. And she little, even has some like, like details on the upper lashes. Very peacocky, yeah. like yeah. showing off every bit. <laughs> it's appropriate considering her theme. Yeah. She should be a boy. Just male peacocks are the one that are really flashy. Did they even make a male enchantable? Sure. Not that I've seen. No. I don't think I feel so. Like they should make one. A It'd boy. Be pretty simple. I mean, you know how boys tend to go with these brands, but yeah, I was like, I. I think that would be really cute if I enchant more. Um, like her little blue nose. It doesn't yeah. really make sense. I feel like it should be yellow or something. Yeah, if it's supposed to be a beak. Mm. Oh, she fancy for her outfit. This is... She, like... She is super fancy. <laughs> she has, like, a whole molded peacock tail attached to her back. And then she has a purple, pretty much the same color as her hair, but a purple boa around her shoulders. And then her skirt is ooh, so colorful. I love it. Mm. It's, Plants and feathers and all the colors of the rainbow. Very recognizable peacock feathers. You know? I like that. She also has the fanciest shoes I've seen. She does. Her shoes are pretty fancy. They're like kind of. It's. I don't know. It's weird because they have like features that remind you of sandals, but they're closed toe. So I don't know. Yeah. They're closed toe, but they're kind of, yeah, like they have little straps on them. The back is very flashy. There's like a peacock design on the back with feathers. 
Um, I would definitely say she has my favorite shoes by far. She comes with her little peacock friend, Flap, Flap who's a, <laughs> who's got a little hair. curly dude. <laughs> <laughs> the hair is so funny. It's like a curly purple. Yeah, it looks and, like kind of a mad scientist uh, yeah. hairdo. So, yeah, there's nothing going on in the back. Yeah, it's just solid color, but the front is, you know, has the peacock feathers. Uh, the pet is cute. Yeah, a little bit simpler, but pretty cute. So I was also sent the Built for Two playset by Enchantimals, which includes a super cute turtle girl named Taylee Turtle, and she comes with her pet Bounder. Um, yeah, this is a little bit more like a set, because as you see, she comes with a bike, and I love the really pretty, I really like the backdrop in this packaging. It's very watercolor, very mystical. Yeah, the turtle crossing. It's <laughs> hilarious. Adorable. The carriage for Bounder in the back is adorable. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it counts with his own little helmet. Yeah. I know. Safety first, you guys. <laughs> yeah, safety first. And the back of the packaging, you know, there's some little blurbs about the other sets. I really, okay, I really like uh, that panda girl is actually one of my favorite enchantables that I've seen, but I'm like, I kind of wish she didn't come in the gigantic playset, because I don't know if I can commit to like a huge enchantables playset, so I kind of wish she were sold like standalone, but she's super cute. Um, and yeah, there's, you know, just a little blurb about Taily Turtle and enchantables in general. So that's the back of the packaging. So let's go ahead and open this one up. All right, here is Taily Turtle out of box. She's precious. She is. She's the best one. <laughs> you know what she reminds me of? Hmm? Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur! I know, right? Which is <laughs> ironic because her pet is totally a squirtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love her hair color. Would you say this is an aquamarine kind of, or no? Like, aqua teal? Yeah, so this is kind of, yeah, like an aquamarine teal color in her hair. Very beautiful. And she has, you know, it's a combination. It reminds me of both turtly scales and almost kind of like water splashes on her forehead. Mm -hmm. She has light blue eyebrows and a simple peach lipstick. You know, not really any makeup outside of that. Um, she's wearing a simple tank top that is, of course, you know, painted on um, with little flowers and bubbles and scales, all things turtly. And what's really crazy about this is, like, it, it looks like she's wearing a skirt. It's not a skirt. It's actually shorts. So it, like, it comes in at the, you know, at the, at the inseam. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like it actually comes in there like it, you know, uh, you can't, it's not just open. So she is wearing, like, big, poofy, like board shorts almost <laughs> kind of, which I guess that's appropriate for a turtle theme, and whoa, do you see those bendable knees? Whoa. She got the luxury treatment, <laughs> yeah. Um, because yeah, ordinarily um, enchantables are not actually articulated, like you can move them at, um, like, at the thighs and elbows, but that's it. With her, you can actually bend her knees, so she has knee articulation, which is great for the bike she comes with, which we will show you guys shortly. And her shoes are pretty cute. They are a solid hot pink, so it's kind of hard to tell. But it's like a tortoise shoe, tortoise shell shoe with socks on underneath and like flower clasps on the side. It's, it's kind of a mess when it's all one color, but I appreciate it. The detail anyway. I yeah, guess. I mean, I really like the, the mold of these shoes. If, if it were painted, it, I think it would really pop because I like I like the socks. This is her pet turtle bounder. Super cute. Looks like a squirtle, kind of. Like a lot. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like a lot, yeah. Um, adorable turtle. I love this pet. It's one of my favorite pets. Um, has a little flower in, you know, his or her, presumably her forehead. I love all these little freckles. Yeah, very cute, like the expression. Uh, the one thing that's a little bit of a bummer we noticed is um, the back of the shell is not painted outside of um, these little marks, you know. Which it doesn't need to be painted, just yeah. it's the same color as the skin too, so it comes off kind of strange. Yeah, it would be nice if the shell were more painted, although it's not a huge deal because you can't see it from the front. But yeah. So this is the bike accessory that Taylee comes with. Yeah, it's this like heel bike with white wheels and pink, uh, what's the inside of a wheel called? With pinks, <laughs> mm -hmm. and everything is just 
flower motif, except for the undercarriage here, which is a lot of hearts, but I think it has more flowers on the bottom. Yeah. But I love the carriage. Ah, uh, because you know what you can do? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yeah. The shade it has. <laughs> yeah, really adorable. And there's a little um, piece in the middle that allows you to sit the doll in place. So you can actually position her firmly on the bike, which is super cute. Oh my gosh. When the cuteness be too much. <laughs> <laughs> They're matching yeah. helmets. They, have, they, ha they both come with light pink helmets. And the fact that Bounder comes with one, like, kills me. That's the cutest thing in the world. And it fits them really well. Like, yeah. a lot of helmets I've mm -hmm. had with dolls, it's like, eh, it's yeah. like so bulbous y on their head. It is, yeah, it's very snug. It and... was decently easy to put her in the bike, too. Oh, yeah, totally. And it yeah. seems like she fits pretty well. And also, this thing right here flips over. It's <gasps> 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 a double carriage? That doesn't seem yeah. safe. <laughs> he sits there. And then in the ar back you artwork, see, yeah, you in can the back artwork, uh, art book, or sorry, back artwork, it shows you flipping this over to make him like drop down. Well, what's nice too is then uh, the pet is level with the face of the main doll, too. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice for that's photography. Cute. Then Very you could cute. do two pets at once. Yeah. yeah, oh, that's true too. Yeah, it's hard to bend her legs backwards, but she sits just fine, so mm -hmm. whatever, use your imagination. Yeah. All right, so these are our final thoughts on Enchantimals Felicity Fox, Taylor Turtle. Sage Skunk. And Patter Peacock. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we discussed in our previous Enchantimals review um, that generally speaking, you know, this brand definitely doesn't seem to be targeting adult collectors, um, which is completely understandable. You know, there are some children out there who are interested in some toys. <laughs> um, so, you know, I can completely understand and respect that. Um, and I would imagine young kids going completely wild over this brand. Um, it's really cute. Um, it has a theme that I think a lot of kids would really love and relate with. And there are definitely a couple gems in here for adult collectors as well, especially the ones with a little more detail and the ridiculously adorable accessories like Taily Turtle. She's totally my favorite. I would, I would recommend her. Um, even if you are an adult collector, um, her turtle pet with a helmet on is the most ridiculously adorable thing in the world. Um, I really love it. It's super cute. And you know, this series is very affordable, which I also appreciate. You know, these standalone dolls are priced, you know, under $10. Um, and even the larger sets are, you know, I think the highest they go is like, 15 bucks. Maybe you'll come across some larger ones that are 20. Obviously, they have huge play sets that can be, you know, a little bit pricier, but it's Still very, very affordable. It's very affordable, and I can definitely appreciate, you know, and respect the fact that that is, you know, that has been made available, made an option to Mattel fans. So I would definitely say, you know, if you get a chance, be sure to scout out different types of enchantables because if some of them aren't doing it for you, you know, you might find some super adorable cuties in the batch that's out there. Like this is our second review of them, right? But I'm, I'm coming around even more this time. I think they're really cute. Like I felt like my inner child kind of coming out. Like I know I would love these as a kid. I would have been asking for these for sure. Mm -hmm. um, if anyone out there is listening, I think that you should focus, not just for adult collectors, this isn't really about me, but you should focus on doing more things like the Taily set. Because mm -hmm. I think them being able to interact with their pets, like taking, like how she takes Bounder on a ride, like I think that's really cute. It's more she, worth it overall, I think. She's yeah. definitely the most appealing one to me so mm -hmm. far. Also, if anyone else from Mattel is listening, thank you for this very no stress packaging. It's like really mm -hmm. easy to take them out. You know, it's definitely the highlight for me are their pets or their friends. Super cute. I just hope that in the future they come with a little bit more articulation. I know that Mattel is you know, experimenting with like non removable joints like with the Monster High dolls that we got recently. So hopefully, you know, they can do the same for these guys and just be able to have joints. So yeah, I mean, definitely for like $8, these guys are really cute, easy on your wallet, which I appreciate. All right, thank you for joining us for our unboxing and review of this special Enchantimals box. And again, thank you so much to Enchantimals and our friends at Mattel for sending us this. 
these adorable toys and this awesome backdrop. I will totally be using it on my Instagram. Make sure to let us know what you guys think of these enchantimals in the comments below, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.